Welcome WCSB awesome families to um, this little presentation on Lent. And we are going to today be talking about the second Sunday of Lent, which it comes from Mark's Gospel and it's called the Transfiguration of Jesus. It's when Peter, James, and John go up the mountain with Jesus and then Jesus begins to be transfigured or with using our pastoral theme for this year, transformed. He is transformed. And he hears God saying to him, you're my son, the beloved. It's amazing that you and I are made in God's image and likeness. Now, that doesn't mean that we all have beautiful hair. And it doesn't mean that we all have hands like God. No, the, the fact that you and I are made in God's image and likeness has to do with the fact that God has shared divine qualities, his qualities with us. So, for example, God has life. And God has shared life with you and me. God has the ability to love, and God has shared that gift with you and me. But we find out in today's Gospel reading that God has the ability to transform, transfigure, transform others. The Father transforms Jesus in this Gospel reading. So too can you and I transform one another by what we say. When we speak to another person, we are providing them with an opportunity to take a picture. And the words that we say to others will either transform them or they will disform them, deform them. So it's really important for us to think about how do I use my gift of speech? My gift of speech that has the power to either transform someone or to deform someone. So when I say things that are not kind, when I say, you know, I hate you, or when I say um, anything else that's really not nice, what happens? The other person shows us a frown because we've hurt them. But today's gospel reading invites us not to use our language in that way. But today's gospel reading invites us to use our language in a way that transfigures others, that transforms others. So when we say kind things to others, wow, you did that really well. That's an awesome painting. Wow, that jump was amazing. Wow, I'm really happy you're my friend. We get big smiles from the other person. And so this week during Lent, let's think about how we can transform others, not deform others.